I think it's pretty safe to say that when we examine the Star Wars sequel trilogy, there's a large chunk of the Star Wars fan base that has a big issue with The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker. Meanwhile, the other chunk of the Star Wars fans have no issues with the Star Wars franchise by Disney and Lucasfilm. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing is for certain is that we do know that Lucasfilm's president, Kathleen Kennedy, has been quite a divisive figure for the Star Wars franchise and for the community alone. We do know that The Last Jedi was a disaster of Star Wars movies. There's no way of really saying it. Then that is that this movie divided the Star Wars fan base and it really caused a lot of problems within the Star Wars community for years on end. And here we are now today, uh, you know, just yesterday, by the way, big news uh, just released is that Bob Iger is stepping down as Disney CEO and Bob Chapek is taking over and he's doing a lot of big things for Star Wars as a brand that's going to be handed down by Disney's Bob Iger. Basically him leaving behind a legacy. Now, when we look at Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy, obviously, you know, this woman has a lot of problems with Star Wars. She doesn't necessarily understand Star Wars to its core, and we've seen great examples of this with The Last Jedi, and especially with how she interfered with The Rise of Skywalker and deleted so many scenes and really altered the overall story as we know it. So, when you think of it that way, that's the unfortunate thing about Kathleen Kennedy. Now, on top of all of this, now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are focused on their new Star Wars universe, they are also working on developing their new Star Wars trilogy of films to create a better future for Star Wars and to evolve it as a brand. Where it's noted that one of the big plans by Disney is to create an EU bigger than the old one from the 1990s and the early 2000s. Since Kathleen Kennedy has lost her control over creative decisions for the future of Star Wars, fans have been more optimistic about the future. However, during and after the premiere of The Rise of Skywalker, many interviews were given to Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy, where at one point she was questioned about fan backlash of The Last Jedi. Where it's noted that when questioned about the backlash after the premiere of The Rise of Skywalker, Kathleen Kennedy states that the fans were wrong about The Last Jedi and that there was never a backlash for The Last Jedi to begin with and that the fans are also wrong about Ryan Johnson destroying Star Wars as a franchise. Additionally, Kathleen Kennedy states that Ryan Johnson did the best work that she has seen in years with such a big brand as Star Wars and that she is very proud of what Ryan developed for the fans. However, it's described that Kathleen Kennedy stated in one of her interviews that the fans are misguided and that no backlash exists and that Star Wars is as strong as it has ever been. And that they have exciting plans for the future of Star Wars and are not necessarily done with the Skywalkers just yet for the fans in the Star Wars community. Now, additionally, one question about the Rise of Skywalker and the choices they made with the film for those who were actually disappointed with Kathleen states that these movies for the sequel trilogy from its creators could not focus on what the fans wanted, but however, what Lucasfilm thinks best of Star Wars and what it could actually be as a brand. So, when you look at Kathleen Kennedy, obviously, she's always denying the backlash of The Last Jedi as if it never really existed, and it does exist. We can see it before our very own eyes online, or if you just go ahead and talk to a lot of your friends and family who are either casual or hardcore Star Wars fans. A lot of people had issues with The Last Jedi and the current state of Star Wars by Disney and exactly how they have handled things with the sequel trilogy. Now, thankfully, they are trying to pave way for a better future of Star Wars. With now Bob Iger out at the, as the Disney CEO and Bob Chapek taking over, and Kathleen Kennedy no longer having creative control over the new Star Wars films and TV shows, etc. It really tells us that they are trying to, at the very minimum, do something better for Star Wars, either on, you know, in a genuine way or in a, in a desperate attempt. It's currently unclear. I would have to say that it's more of a desperate attempt, because, let's face it, Disney, you know, they really are taking over a lot of brands out there, and the fact that Star Wars is one of those big brands, they really want to keep it alive and well, and that's exactly what they want to do for the future of Star Wars with their new expanded universe that's going to consist of movies, TV shows, video games, comics, books, you name it, so on and so forth. So, Kathleen Kennedy, you know, the fact that also, you know, how she states that Star Wars is not for the fans to decide, but it's for the creators to decide of what's best for the brand. Now, of course, people are going to have different opinions on that, but in my point of view here, 
I think that the fans should have somewhat of a say in the matter, at least to a minimum level, of exactly what the direction of Star Wars should be like, right? Now, I get it, you know, the creators can come up with their own stories, but generally speaking, right, the fans want to actually see specific eras or to see specific stories to be told, and then the creators can actually handle the dialogue and the actual story elements. So the fans, at the end of the day, they really are what makes Star Wars happen, and I think that Disney should really be very grateful about that. The fact that, you know, there is a fan base that supports this brand, and the fact that it really does make Disney very successful with this brand. So, with that being said, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.